You may have noticed that when you're just getting started in Dreamlight Valley, storage space can be limited. However, there are actually a number of things you can do to expand all of your storage options very quickly, or at least just make the most of what you have. First things first, the easiest but sometimes accidentally overlooked step, open everything. If you look inside your inventory or storage and you see any little books or cute little bags, open them up. The contents might be furniture, clothing, or a recipe, but you generally don't have to store any of those items in your inventory or in your chests. Instead, they get whisked away to their own special storage, which will save you space. A second thing you should do is just make more chests. Using softwood and stone, you can craft new storage chests. You can place these inside your house or in the great outdoors. They don't hold a ton, but they do help a lot. One great way to use them is to put one in each area that has a unique critter, and put that critter's favorite food inside the chest. For example, you could put carrots in a chest in the meadow to easily feed the bunny rabbits their favorite treat. A real heavy hitter of an idea is to expand your house so you can expand your storage. Just to be clear, this means going outside and using the sign to expand the exterior of your house. If you use the elevator inside your house, that will expand the interior and that won't work for this. One thing that actually took me a while to figure out is that this type of storage expansion works only on the dark wood vintage chest that comes with your house. It does not work on the plain old chest that you can craft yourself. Speaking of storage furniture, don't bother trying to buy or order any from Scrooge McDuck. Yes, they're in the storage category, but I can assure you from personal experience, these so-called storage items are purely decorative, at least for now. Hopefully this changes with future updates. By far the most impactful tip I can give you is to just pay to expand your inventory so you can hold on to more items. It doesn't come cheap, but it comes in clutch. Personally, I find this to be the most useful since you don't have to run back and forth to your chest to put stuff away very often when you can simply just hold all the items. This makes it possible to go and go and go until your energy runs out and you have to come home anyway, which is, of course, when you'll drop off your excess items. Last and quite possibly least, if you're completely out of room, just use the floor. Now, I cannot wholeheartedly recommend this method as a long-term solution. As far as I can tell, the items you leave on the floor will stay there a good long time, even if you leave the game and come back. Will they stay there indefinitely? I have no idea, so don't put anything you'd be sad to lose on the ground. For reference, this carrot has been on the ground for about two real life days now across multiple gaming sessions, and it's still here ready to be picked up whenever I get around to it. This method seems to work especially well for flowers though, since they root right into the ground. I highly suggest using your time while stuff is on the floor to make enough money to expand your storage properly, and a fast and easy way to do that is shown in my video on the screen now.